G'day and welcome back to Duck Silly Gaming and our next episode of Go Big or Go Home on Lone Oak Farm. Sorry, I'm just trying to consider what I'm doing. Okay, so um, what we've done is we were doing our grass harvesting over here um, in the last episode and we've got all that sort of stuff. But even though these areas here which are actually... Um, grass and other crops and that that have been replanted this one here slipped by 38 we hadn't actually re-sown anything on it so it's sitting here it's been harvested with sunflowers um, so what we're going to quickly try and do is um, just put a crop in and uh, and see if we can get it to take so we thought we'd do something different like we've we've been saying we've been doing in a few of the different episodes uh, and we're going to plant some poplars so we can use that for some some chaff. So that's the plan at this stage. Uh, we're just going to see whether we can get get the field to take it, which it looks like it shall. We'll uh, we'll just uh, check to make sure. see whether it changes that or not because we probably should have cultivated it and or plowed it and we may well have to still do that um, yeah so it's not it's not removing that state so what we have to do is we have to pull him off to the side and very quickly go and grab another tractor with a plow or a cultivator and um, and see what we can bring over so here we go um, there's the big one there what have we got in here? Probably do that. Let's take one of the Zerions over. We'll take the big cultivator over and we'll just fly through it. Now the only other problem we've got is the fact that we don't want to be careful we don't go on the fields um, because access into that is uh, a little bit sketchy effectively. Go around the boundary of the other field. Take out our windrower. And we're probably going to take out some more things here. We haven't put things away properly. All right, I'm going to fit through here. All right, so yes, we've got to go up and around this field here, and then go up the side of another field uh, to get in there. So if you have a look um, into field 38, we've uh, got to go up the sides of field 46. Um, we could go through th field 37, um, but I don't think there's any actual access through there as we almost uh, tip the thing over. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're going to, bit of a rush job. We want to make sure we get it planted so we actually harvest it in this season, um, or this year. So um, that's why we're sort of rushing to get it done, since we just realised that we were remiss in not doing it previously. So... Um, yeah, we'll get that done lickety split. What we'll do is we'll put this guy on a course, play course, and then we'll see directly after him. Um, shouldn't be too much of a hassle. This is a lot wider than the cedar. So, um, yeah, we shouldn't have too much difficulty with that. Alright, so there we go. Unfold him. Alright, we'll set up the course. So we're on field 38, working with 24.4. We want to do two headland passes. Uh, that will be sufficient, I would imagine. Uh, we'll go OK. What we're going to do is put that down and go through and we'll. Like so, alright, now, we'll, whoops, I need to go back here, and let's start that again. Ready for around to da -da -da, generate field course, okay, alright, now that's what I wanted to do, I wanted to back up a little bit. Get us all lined up nice and straight. 
and get him to draw calls. And off he goes. Right, so. Now what we'll do is we'll resume back to our previously uh, planned excursion with this guy and we'll plant poplars right behind him. So, hope everyone is doing well. We are flat out trying to get some episodes all queued up. Um, we've had a lot of um, interesting times with work and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's been busy, busy, busy. But um, there's a bit of a bit of a break coming, hopefully. But uh, in the interim, we'll just get stuff out when we can. I've said in a previous episode recently that we aren't setting any um, any time frame or any uh, schedule per se. Um, we just can't at the moment. So um, we'll just do what we can, and we'll put videos out whenever we can, and uh, and hopefully that should keep you guys entertained well enough um, going forward. This is going to take us all episode, we know that, um, just purely from the fact that it's a, it's a reasonably large field um, and we're using effectively one of the smaller um, cedars, but the other ones we would have had to go and fill up with seed and, and all that sort of stuff. And I just wanted to get it done because I was all ready to record um, and then realised that this field had needed to be done, so um, I just wanted to jump on it before we commit it into too much more work um, so as we can uh, make sure we get the maximum of benefit of our seasons as we go through and uh, and yeah so and obviously it's a bit of a slog as well because all the cedars are now over in the other storage area on the north, far northern side of the map so I would have had to bring them all the way back over to uh, the main farm fill them up and then uh, then bring them over so this guy was the closest track that was available and uh, and he was also um, this was the best best cedar it was actually full I filled this one up before I brought it back over um, so uh, made it fairly easy to decide which one to go with even though he's a little bit underpowered for this task and this uh, the elevations on this field that's the thing it, it's, it is very deceptive in certain areas and some maps are very good at doing this making it very deceptive in, in showing you the uh, the change in elevation um, but obviously you can certainly tell when you've got a tractor that's on the borderline of pulling a, a, a utility or an appliance um, you really start to see where it struggles um, when there is a, a bit of an incline there because you have realised just by looking at it and you look over there and it's not too bad but that incline going up the top of that cornfield over there towards Lone Oak itself is um, is quite tough on most of the tractors when they're pulling a plough or anything else so anyway all is good so I certainly won't take the uh, this area on very long to um, to finish off as long as we sort of basically follow his course we'll be okay as well we just don't want to go too close we won't go in any closer with a header row because we don't want him to be tearing up our planted header row when he's doing his uh, north south or east west runs um, so we do need to be very conscious of what we're doing there last thing we want to do is go through and then be seeding it all 
and then all of a sudden he comes back over it and rips it all back up again. As long as we basically follow his uh, his route, even though it'll be narrower, um, we won't have any of that trouble. So as each episode comes out, we are getting closer and closer to the release of Farming Simulator 19. Um, can't wait. It's going to be great fun. Looking forward to doing our uh, playing with the new Big M, the Big M 450. Uh, looking forward to do some cotton work um, and everything else that goes with it. Also, looking looking forward, really looking forward to having a look at the uh, the weeding function, the weeds function, um, and also using of the lime. So um, there's, there's lots to look forward to. Um, we're not going to look forward to those four-legged things that have been added to the game, but we won't talk about that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, really looking forward to, uh, to Farming Simulator 19. So um, we'll be jumping on that as soon as it's available. Um, I did announce in, uh, what series was it? I think it was Beaver Creek, in one of the later episodes of Beaver Creek. Um, I was talking about the strategy of what we're going to start off with. We are going to start off with um, Ravenport and we are going to create a farm on that that is exclusively cotton, um, oh, what did we say? Cotton and cotton, grass and um, sheep, I think it was. No, cotton, sugarcane, grass and sheep. So very much an Australian sort of um, farming experience, uh, even though it's an American-based map. But uh, those three elements are three farming types that we see a lot of here in Australia. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna give that a bit of a crack and see how that uh, pans out. I'll be interested to see if they've sort of fine-tuned any of the sugarcane stuff. Um, Noting we've used that very recently on uh, Beaver Creek. Um, I don't see there's actually a problem with that stuff as it currently stands. Uh, and where's our... is everyone gone? He's gone bush. We have to go save him, guys. He's gone bush in a big way. Alright. Part and parcel of the problem with this um, big cultivator that I found with uh, course plate. It does um, tend to go a little awry sometimes. As long as he didn't plow it all up. No. All right, so we'll get, jump out of him. Um, how are we going to extricate him? All right. Hope it comes out relatively easy, which it does, which is good. All right. Let's see if we can get him back on track. Right, where are we? Up down this side, a little bit lower so we can see where we are. Right, so we've done our headers. He's come back down in and he's gone to do the turn and instead of just turning 180, he's done a 270 degree turn. Let's very carefully see what he's going to do. Okay, off he goes. Let's see if he can uh, continue on and behave. Keep a bit of an eye on him through the turns. Generally, it should be fairly safe because once he gets to the end of his run, uh, he does lift the cultivator. Um, so normally, there's not an overshot run through where we, we would have already been. So um, 
hopefully we'll be okay if he gets lost again. So as you can see there, he's, he's lifted his he's lifted the cultivator. So he's just travelled over where we've just um, done some sowing, and now he's going to line back up for his next run. So hopefully he's um, going to pick that back up all right. I don't think I've got it uh, in the being four wheel drive mode on course play either. Actually, looking at it. He's uh, he's back on track now. It's good. It means hopefully everything should go smooth from here to the end now. Seems to be behaving me now. He's obviously done a little bit of bush bashing. He doesn't want to do any more, which is good. He might have been picking out his next uh, camping spot. <clears throat> So cultivating it in is giving us one level of fertilisation, which is great. And we haven't ploughed it, so next time through we'll actually plough this field. Um, we'll go through the full process of ploughing, fertilising or, or spreading of manure, uh, and then cultivating and then another fertilisation and then uh, the seeding. But for now, um, this will suffice. Not that in the, in the scheme of things it really matters because we've got more than enough crops and that going to be coming through uh, for the end game. But um, certainly for the um, sake of making sure we're, we've got on top of everything, I just wanted to make sure we, we finish this one as well. So, and besides, doing something like poplars is a little bit different. We can't do sugarcane on this map um, and it probably wouldn't fit in the area. Uh, realistically but um, we'll do a bit of poplar and have a bit of a play around with that once it pops up haha uh haha -huh, uh -huh. pun any pun sort of poor humor right he's gonna pretty much finish on that next run I think and we've got another bad another four four or five runs to do north uh, east west runs If we're lucky, he's he's got that perfectly covered. And he doesn't have to do an up. No, he's got it perfectly. I love it when a plan comes together.
sorry, I was um, off in my own little world there. <laughs> I forgot I was recording. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh dear, I might even, might even cut that out. Um, you just got to watch a bit of uh, seeding in silence. Um, that's that's about it for this episode. I again, I sincerely apologise. That's quite funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> If you dislike the episode, please dislike it. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you did like the episode, including that uh, quiet moment of contemplation, then please press the like button. As always, if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, uh, please press the subscribe button and also press the alarm button, a little icon over there, to make sure that you get uh, notifications as to when we are going live or when we've released a video. And also don't forget to come and join us on the Simulation Gaming Society Discord channel and also on the Duck Sawyer Gaming one as well, obviously. And uh, we shall see you again very, very soon here on Lone Oak Farm and at Duck Sawyer Gaming. And don't forget, no matter whether you whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And uh, we shall see you again very, very soon here at Duck Sawyer Gaming. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.